guys, this is Dr. Leo with Body and Balance Wellness Center in Golden, and today I want to show you another parameter that we use in network spinal analysis to really get to the root cause of what's causing someone's issues within their spine and their nervous system. So, Jen, I'm going to have you rest on the chiropractic table. And so the parameter that we're going to really look at today is what's called active tension. And active tension really refers to how the muscular system is engaging or not engaging around someone's spine. So when I'm feeling someone's spine and feeling what's happening within their body, I've already assessed what was called passive tension. And passive tension was how the bone or the structural part of the spine is storing tension. With active tension, I'm looking at how that corresponds with what's happening within the bony system. So how are the muscles actually responding to what's happening within the structural part of the spine? So what that means, if, if Jen were to have an area where the muscles were really active, were really super tense, and there was no tension in the bone, that is one specific scenario that's going to give me information about how to work with a patient. But if there's another situation where there's super high um, passive or, or tension within the bone and then the muscular tension is high as well, it's a very different kind of a scenario. So each of these pieces of information, especially put together, give me another sense of how I'm gonna help someone with migraines or headaches or if they've got neck tension or mid-back tension or sciatic pain, all of that comes together to really get a clear picture of how to get to the root cause of what's happening with someone's spine and really then how to help them. I hope that information is helpful and I'll see you next time.